Hi, I'm Dr. Altman. I'm going to be showing you how to make the neatest laser effects that I've got. This is the music can, the laser music can. Turn on the laser, talk into it. Hello! Hello boys and girls, isn't it fun? Oh yeah, I love this. Lots of fun talking about lasers. <laughs> so let's start about building one of these things. You start off with uh, any kind of a can. Now I'm using a Del Monte quality light diced peaches. There's a little snack size and they have the uh, characteristic that when you pull the top off, you eat the peaches, cut the bottom off and you end up with a hollow can. These have a little lip around the edge of them and that really works well for what I intend. The next thing you do is you take a balloon, standard balloon, and you cut the bottom third off. So you've got a little cap, and you stretch the cap over the can, and I'm stretching it over the side that's got the little lip. By doing that, I've got a little area, a little indentation. I'm going to secure this with a rubber band, and the rubber band fits right into that little lip. I've done it with other devices and uh, not using the uh, lip, but this is a real handy thing if you've got one. How tight the balloon is stretched is a function of the pattern and the frequency it responds to. So if you have problems, you can change that. But basically, you're making a little drum. You roll up the rest of the uh, balloon. And if you're using this can, it fits right in there. Looks nice. Now what we want to do is shine the laser onto this balloon. And we're going to place a mirror where the laser hits. So we've got to come up with something to hold the laser with. Now I've made these little things with uh, clothespins. Took a couple of clothespins, um, separated them, the, took the metal piece out. <clears throat> and then on one side there was a groove which I cut out and then glued that in place. So basically what I get is a little ramp. I can put the laser and I use a special laser, a little keychain laser. Put a little drop of hot glue there. When I press on the little button the laser beam is shining upwards so that if I were to attach it to my can, the laser beam would actually be hitting the can, which is what I want. Now, obviously, I've done this uh, a number of different ways with Legos. And with the Legos, you can take it apart and put it back together. I've got a lot of lasers, and so I can afford to just physically uh, epoxy or hot glue my lasers right to my Legos. If you only have one laser, you kind of want to come up with a way you can use different effects without uh, tying it all up. I actually, I made one of these. I put it on mute for a trumpet. Uh, the mute, uh, I actually ended up cutting the plastic so that it was open, stretched a balloon over it, attached my Legos, so that when I turn on my laser, it strikes my mirror that I've mounted on the balloon. Now here I'm going to attach it with uh, rubber bands. You'll notice that the clothespin's got a little groove in it. That little groove is the perfect spot to put, and I'm going to use a double rubber band. And another rubber band to hold it in place. So that when I put my laser on it, it's striking upwards onto the balloon at an angle. A ramp. It's set up so that I can hold and squeeze my laser and turn it on at the same time and hold it with one hand, which is what I want to do. Now at this point I want to glue a little mirror. Now I've found packages of mirrors 
at craft stores uh, in the bead section, the jewelry section, they uh, uh, stick these to different things to get them to be flashy. And I also found these amazing things called glue dots. This is a, a roll of little globs of, of glue. And so by taking a little glue dot, the glue dot works by uh, pressing the uh, mirror to the glue dot. And then you lift it up and the glue comes with it. Now you've got a mirror with glue on it. And you set up your can. Turn it on. And where the dot appears, that's where you stick your mirror. Then you want to press it in place and you press on the bottom and the top at the same time. And it's done. You're ready to go do laser music with your laser music cam.